And today's episode of Free Friday is sponsored by Sketchfab. Sketchfab is the largest platform on the internet that gives 3D artists the opportunity to publish, share, discover, buy and even sell 3D, VR and AR content. Sketchfab provides you with an online 3D viewer which is based on the WebGL and Web AR technology. And this simply allows you to view your 3D content on the web, mobile browsers and also on virtual reality headsets. So in case you want to publish or even buy or sell your next 3D content, go Sketchfab. Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. This is another weekly episode of Free Friday and today we have some stuff. First off, we're gonna start off by talking about the Amedi.net. Now this is a hub, a resource place. It is more like, uh, you know, one of those amazing places on the internet where you can find 3D printable files. Now you can find 3D content that you can use for your scene. There's just a, a truckload of things that you can find here. There's literally almost everything that you would need for your 3D printing here. So from artworks to, you know, figures to models that you just want to print for, for the fact that you can print models, they are all here. So here is more like a repository where you can find tons and tons of stuff. You can see all of these cool designs are here. So in case you're into things like this, you may find this one very, very interesting. Downloading these is, you know, very interesting as well as you get these as STL format. Of course, you can get this STL format and choose to convert them to OBJ, to anything that you want and use them in your default DCC app. And how you can get these things going is by clicking on any of them. For example, if we go all the way down, let's look for, all right, so let's get Stitch. And once you click on it, it takes you over to another page. And within this page, you would also need to scroll all the way down. Ignore most of these things as they are all ads. Go all the way down and click on this button that says, I am not a robot. And once you click on, I'm not a robot, what would happen is it's going to open a brand new page and give you a countdown. And once that countdown reaches the point where it needs to start downloading, it will go ahead and start downloading this thing for you. And to me, I think this is, you know, it's clean, it's easy for you to do this. My only problem is, you know, there's just way too much ads traveling across this. Now you can do this for every single model that you want and the quality that you get for these models are pretty, pretty high. So if you're into 3D printing or maybe you're just into 3D and you're looking for a place where you can grab some free resources some free models you know you want to throw them in your scene or you just want to print them for fun this is more like the best place for you to take a look at now with this set let's dive over to gumroad and show some love so gumroad today we're looking at thing joy bit now thing joy bit has two add-ons and the very first one is the brush manager this is one of the most amazing brush you know uh, tools that i have seen that specifically targets blender sculpting room so what happens here is with this add-on you can customize your brushes you can store them and you can create a library for the brushes that you want to work with so creating your brushes is one thing looking for them knowing where they exist and also you know filing them and having a, a pre-designed way of working with these things is also something that is totally different so you'll be able to do all of this with this tool and this supports blender 2.83 and above there are also updates that will be coming to this and there are also some pretty cool descriptions and you know tutorials of how you'll be able to work with these things right, so if you want to take a look at these link to them is going to be in the description so you can take a look at them there's also a couple of documentations for these things as well and with that said let's take a look at the mesh onion skin for blender now if you're also an animator and you're looking for an add-on that would help you analyze your character or analyze your object during animation time you want to see what the onion skin looks like and you just want to see them the way they are probably because of how the characters are made then this tool is also something that you will definitely find very very interesting to work with now with this set let's dive over and also show some love to someone known as brainchild so brainchild has been working on several stuff there's a couple of free assets that he has here and they comprise of both 3D low poly models, alpha textures, and also PBR textures. So if you want to get 8K 16 bit or 4K 16 bit files, this is like the place you need to be. So we have like 20 wood stylized alphas that you can use regardless of the application. There's also eight terrain alphas that you can grab and the list just simply goes all the way down. If you want to get like 15 alpha brushes for ZBrush or maybe you want to get like 13 alpha brushes for both ZBrush and Blender, you would find all of these things here. So free stuff, free stuff, free stuff. These are very nice packs 
and most of them are totally free so you can do well to come grab them right now so with all of this said let's dive over and take a look at Qbrush so this week at Qbrush we have a truckload of free stuff so the stuff that we have at Qbrush one of them includes some pretty cool 3d model head from Rotska. so Rotska has this cute 3d model head of a girl which you can grab for free and this comes with both the zbrush file a high poly obj and also a low poly obj if you want to get more 3d stuff you want to get more zbrush stuff go over to her page you can find a lot of these things here from imm brushes to vdm brushes and the list just simply goes on and on and on someone else that is also giving us something for free that has to do with zbrush is louis so Louis is also giving out the ZBrush presentation template. Now what this is, is a template file that you grab and it's actually a Photoshop file and you can use this to arrange and do your color correction and set up your ZBrush presentation better. Going to the page as well, you would notice that there is a wood brush that you can grab there. There is also a rock and crack brush that is available right there. All these things are here for you to grab and play with, especially if you're into ZBrush, you may like or you may find this one's quite interesting to work with so while we're still speaking about 3d we also have the gray kitchen from amin so amin is giving out the gray kitchen and this is a 3d studio max file so you can grab this one if you're into 3d studio max you know if you're into scene design interior design you want to play with this you want to work with them yep you can amin has also given out this before which is the study room so i think we talked about this one within the last free friday and these are some of the you know works that he has done before and if you want to grab it any of these things you just need to come over to the page and take a look at them now someone else that has constantly given out free stuff is oleski so oleski has given out a lot of stuff and this week he's giving out a material pack 01 that has a 42 set of textures all 8k pbr textures that deals with soil tiles concrete and also metal all of these textures are 16 gig of file they are all raw scan data file and you know there's just a lot of things that you can find in them once you grab these files you You'll be able to see a couple of texture types that exist from ambient occlusion to the normals you know to the colors and also to the height map so grabbing any of these ones will be very very cool and you can see them up close resolution is extremely cool and very very nice to work with so with all of these 3d assets out of the way let's take a look at some 2d assets that we have for the week jared has a very cool 3d asset that he's giving out this week and that has to do with the chunky stylized dirt material now this is a substance painter and a substance designer tool which you can play with in case you're into substance painter you're into substance designer then this is definitely something that you can use and jared has also given out you know the sci-fi panel we also talked about the sci-fi panel that he gave out and he has also given out the grassy muddy ground so these are the free ones that he has given out before so in case you want to grab any of this you want to work with them here they are now the last 2d asset that we're talking about for this week is the one given out by robin so robin is giving out the coast exploration pack now this coast exploration pack has to do with you know 170 plus high quality jpeg reference so if you're into referencing you find this really really useful robin also has you know a, a truckload of other things you'll notice that we also have the sky landscape the boat symmetry and and the forest exploration creative pack so these are the free packs that he has so if you want to grab them you want to work with them these things are here for you to work with so this is all about it but before we go let's give a huge shout out to our friends at sketchfab so sketchfab is the largest place on the internet where you can preview test out buy sell and also discover free 3d models so if you want to preview your 3d models before you commit to make that purchase sketchfab is the home for you and since it's the largest place on the internet there is literally nothing that you cannot find here and if you're looking for free tools that you will download simply go over to explore go over to downloadables and you find a truckload of them that you can download and all of these things here are also free for you to download so if you're looking for free stuff like this you would find all of these things here on sketchfab and you can download them and use them for free so this is going to be about it i would like to know what you guys think about this week's episode of free friday in the comment section tons and tons of stuff for you to grab and a huge shout out to all of our contributors on today's episode of free friday tell me what you guys think about this and of course if you like this video 
or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update. And until I see you guys again with the tutorial update, free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.